Here it is, you guys. Okay guys, it's time to continue on the B13 with the GTIR swap in it. It's got the P11 uh, LSD 70V transmission in it. Previous videos on how to install that if you guys are interested in seeing that. And if, and if this is the first video you're seeing, uh, there's quite a few of removing the transmission and axles and all that good stuff. But today we are going to install the new axles um, if you guys remember I had an issue with the passenger axle I couldn't get it out of the transmission I just spent a good five minutes beating the crap out of it to get it out because I need to uh, the carrier bearing needs to swap over onto the new transmission which is this guy which bolts up to the back of the block but interesting on this guy I have no idea what the heck happened in there, but I beat it off. <laughs> that sounds terrible. I beat the crap out of this until I was able to finally get this guy out. And uh, you guys tell me how this happens because I have no idea. That is a first. Um, I'll show you the end of the other one. Here is the end of this one. So. I don't know what happened, but I finally got this out so that I could get this carrier bearing over onto, or half shaft, no, carrier bearing, I believe, is what the better uh, terminology is, because this part here is the half shaft. So we're going to start with the easy axle, which is the driver's side axle. So let's go ahead and... I'm gonna get the car jacked up and get it all situated to install the axle. I will remove the wheel and show you guys the rest from there. All right guys, got it jacked up. You're going to want to remove these two bolts right here at the bottom of your strut. Uh, then swivel the wheel hub assembly out of the way. Then slide the axle in, put some pressure down on this to slide the axle through. Uh, keep in mind, there are still the two sensors that I need to um, get replaced. Well, I bought a harness online that will connect these to the B13 chassis. So I'm waiting on those and I just got reminded about the heater hose. I still got to replace those as well. Um, so almost there. Let's just take care of the axles today and move on to the next issue. But... This guy needs heater hoses. The waiting for those that's harness to come in the mail uh, and fluid and just the top half needs to be buttoned up. But let's go ahead and install this uh, axle, driver's side axle. Do not forget to grease up this end where that C-clip is. Um, it's recommended to grease it, so don't forget to do that. Okay, there goes that. These were two 17 millimeter 
bolt and uh, nut. So keep that in mind. Uh, I did grease the inside of those uh, splines as well. And I did grease uh, the axle also. So there's plenty of grease in there. Now, um, if I recall, you grease a little bit on the axle nut. So I'm gonna grease up just a little bit. Um, I can't fully remember if it's just the splines or not, but I don't think it's the axle nut. So I'm just gonna tighten this guy up. I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't need any grease. So tighten it up. This axle has a pretty long, a lot of thread. I don't even, I gotta double check my socket and make sure it's gonna reach this guy. 32 millimeter socket. Usually this bolt ends up where these little lines, you can put the cotter pen through them. But these guys are way off. So I will still put this guy around here just to play it safe, just in case this axle nut ever backs up. But hit it with the impact, give it a couple good ugas, and call it good. There it is guys. So driver's side uh, axle is now on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw the wheel back on and jump to the other side and take care of the passenger. Okay, have the wheel off, passenger side axle. The goal is the guy that bolts onto the block. I already transferred it over and, and tightened the three bolts, 12 millimeter bolts that hold this onto the axle. Remember, 17 millimeter. This one's gonna be a little bit more of a pain because you gotta get the axle in, you gotta kind of maneuver it. Then you gotta line up these guys as well. <sighs> so this guy's a little bit more of a pain to deal with. And uh, I gotta look for those three bolts real quick. All right, let's go ahead and start and uh, get the axle in. Okay, on the GTIR motor, there's only two bolts used. I cannot remember if there was two here before, but I have one bolt, so I put one bolt in with Loctite. Um, this car is gonna have no issues at all with one bolt, so don't freak out about it. I did have to loosen up the carrier bearing so that I can line up uh, this bracket onto the block better. So I'm going to get the axle in on that side and then I will come back and tighten these guys up and uh, see if I could close this gap all the way now. So I'm gonna jump over to that end. guys there it is the axle is on the cotter pens in there top strip bolts are tightened and as I mentioned I was able to close this gap after I finished everything up 
just kind of keep going around and you'll slowly see this gap close but you just gotta keep working yourself uh, around the three bolts uh, don't do one too tight because then you may tweak it sideways and then strip out a bolt but yeah the only bolt that's missing is that bolt that I could not line up when installing the transmission and I just double checked and still it's not lined up right so one bolt pretty much did not go back on this entire little swap <coughs> all right let me go ahead and get out from under here and cover anything else that I need to cover for this video all right there it is guys and also just a heads up if any of you guys own the Harbor Freight um, Jack Sands return them apparently they are known to break apart and crush and pancake that is why i am using my trusty jack with that guy down there as well for safety precautions between this guy and that guy um but there it is guys that's how easy it is to install your axles um I think I'm going to go ahead and start changing the front brake lines or I'm going to remove the radiator hose that needs to be replaced, which is this guy. So when you're installing your transmission, be careful with that guy. And it goes right around here on the firewall. So I guess before I put this back together, I'm going to go ahead and pull that out so I could go to AutoZone tomorrow, replace the hose, something I'm not going to record, just so you guys are aware. And have been watching the videos and wondering if I replace that hose. It is going to get done. So, other than that guys, like, subscribe, share. This is how simple it is for you to install your axles. I do have the video of removing your axles. So, go back and watch that as well if you're doing this uh, all by yourself. So, get the tools, do it yourself. Save money into your own pocket and get it done guys. Thank you.